Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Google's new AI video generator. Now it's called Vio, and I'll leave this link in the description so you can check out some of these examples yourself. Hopefully this will compete with Sora. And this one actually has a sign up button, which will take you to this video FX test kitchen page. And here you can actually join the waitlist unlike Sora, because I don't actually know if we will get access to Sora. There's been some news that that might not even happen, really. But this looks like an amazing alternative. So let's check out some of these demos. So here we have alpacas wearing knit wool sweaters, graffiti background, sunglasses, alpacas dancing to the beat. Now, as you can see, these clips will be very short. So I'm assuming like most of these AI video generators, we only have like up to 10 seconds of video that can be generated still this looks really good uh, apparently this image started with an image input along with a another prompt so first the image prompt was alpacas wearing knit wool sweaters graffiti background sunglasses and then the video prompt was alpacas dancing to the beat this does look phenomenal though i love it when he comes up close to the camera the coherence is really really good next here we have brightly colored blue air doll dancing like crazy in a parking lot sunny day look how good that shadow looks this is pretty phenomenal here we have a crochet elephant in vibrant colors walking on the savannah and it's definitely doing that look how good that looks here we have a gliding pov shot of a road biker ascending in winding mountain pass offering breathtaking views i have to say apart from the blurriness because it's definitely not like hd it looks so realistic it looks like a gopro footage amazing so let's take a look at this little video with donald glover in it well i've been interested in ai for a couple of years now we got in contact with some of the people at google and they had been working on something of their own so we're all meeting here at Gilda Farms to make a short film. The core technology is Google DeepMind's generative video model that has been trained to convert input text into output video. <laughs> it looks good. We are able to bring ideas to life that were otherwise not possible. We can visualize things on a time scale that's 10 or 100 times faster than before. When you're shooting, you can't really iterate as much as you wish. And so we, we've been hearing that feedback is that it allows for like more, more optionality, more iteration, more improvisation. But that's what's cool about it. It's like you can make a mistake faster. That's all you really want at the end of the day. At least in art, it's just to make mistakes fast. So using Gemini's multimodal capabilities to optimize the model training process, VO is able to better capture the nuance from prompts. So this includes cinematic techniques and visual effects, giving you total creative control. Everybody's going to become a director, and everybody should be a director. Because at the heart of all of this is just storytelling. The closer we are to being able to tell each other our stories, the more we'll understand each other. These models are really enabling us to be more creative and to share that creativity with each other. Very cool. I like what Donald Glover said about being able to make mistakes faster. I think that's a really good point. And that's coming from one of the most multi-talented creative people I've ever seen. Check out Atlanta if you haven't. It's absolutely amazing. So it uses a lot of Gemini's multimodal stuff for training. And as you just saw in that video, you have creative control with all the cinematic techniques and all the effects. Let's take a look at this other little demo they made. It's a 60 second video. Apparently that can go beyond a minute. So I don't know why all the other ones are so short, but we'll see when we get access, I guess. Let's take a look at this 60 second video. There's no audio for these. That looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. So here we have cars racing in a cyberpunk sort of neon city. Again, it's all quite blurry, but you, if you look at the car, it does look like very coherent. I'm really impressed by this driving, the physics. Wow, there we go. This looks really, really good. Oh my god. 
So apparently you use these prompts. So this is kind of like a storyboard, right? Which is cool. <laughs> As you can see, they have to give this little disclaimer here. It was not modified by Google. As you probably know, Google kind of cheated us with that on one of their last demos. But let's not talk about that. This one has not been modified. So that's very impressive. I cannot wait to get access to this. Here we have a time lapse of a water lily opening with a dark background. It looks really good. Here we have a woman shrouded in smoke of different vibrant colors. Warm light bathes her. Pretty cool. Here we have a turtle swims through a colorful coral reef. I could almost be tricked by this video because the sort of slight distortions kind of work because it's underwater. Anyway, I just wanted to show you these demos because I'm really excited for this. Check out the links in the description and join the waitlist. I'm in Europe and I couldn't actually access this. So I just turned on my US VPN and then it worked. So about these links in the description, please subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Leave a like and I'll see you next week.